Hey, I'm Dave Barnes, and this is a Joni Web exclusive. Where did that piece of chicken come from that fell okay. in your backyard? Okay, listen, listen. I need to slow down. Let me let me tell you, I have a, I have some theories. It was still warm. Okay. So we were just outside working on putting these lights up in our backyard, and it was going really well. We were having a great time, and out of nowhere, something fell from the tree above us. Now, I haven't touched it. I'm just going to show you what happened. Let me see. Show you. Follow me. This fell from the tree above us. That's fried chicken. Fell from the tree. What? Okay. Let me tell you my theories. So here's the deal. The other day, Annie and I, my wife and I are in our backyard and we're stringing up, you know, Christmas, you know, like the bulb Christmas lights, like the, I say Christmas, like just outdoor lights. We're stringing them up in the backyard and having a great time because I've been, you know, on tour for about a week and so we're just kind of catching up and all of a sudden, and you know, like your ears naturally know the sound of things falling. It's ridiculous that sound like if you're outside and you hear something fall, you kind of know what it is. You're like, oh, that was a pine cone or that was an, a nut or an acorn. And it was just such a weird sound because it was like heavier than any of those, but not enough to be like a human. So we hear something kind of thud and I look at him and he's like, what is that? She's like, I don't know. And so we kind of turn around and there is a piece of fried chicken laying on our back porch. And we started laughing just, I mean, just hilarious laughter because I'm just like, Lord, I don't know if you just chunked it. And we're like, hey, check this out. <laughs> you know, but I have a couple theories. One is somewhere on my street, there was a kid who was playing for fried chicken. He's just like, Lord, it's almost summer. I need fried chicken. I know you can deliver it. And so God, who I kind of think has one of those, you know, in the arcade where they have little hand clamps to do this. Maybe he had sort of his, you know, heavenly hand clamp and he's up there steering it. But because of allergies, he sneezes because it's allergy season. So he sneezes and when he sneezes, he hits the button and it falls too early. So we got it. Or the other one, which I like the most is just global warming. <laughs> So what, what happened is, two days later on tour, Annie texts me a picture. First, the, the text, you're not gonna believe this. Then a picture pops up, and it's a picture of a squirrel with a piece of pizza running up a tree in our backyard. So I think the culprit was a squirrel, which, I mean, do you know how big a, I mean, a piece of fried chicken and a squirrel like that. It looks like a breast. It was, no, it's huge. Yeah, I'll show you. It was well, the thing that's funny to me is, what I'm thinking about is that would be the equivalent of like me seeing one of you guys running down the street with like an Audi. Because I mean, the thing is the size of his body, if not, it doesn't weigh more. So that guy is struggling. And then he's got a pizza. I'm like, where did this, he's like hit the mother load, this one squirrel. And you know he's up there like, he's like the godfather. You know, he's like, come eat, you know. Good to see you, have a piece of the pizza. You know, like, I just, yeah, it's a chicken. He lost the chicken. That had to be the worst day of that squirrel's life. He's sitting there just staring at it. Like, thank you, Jesus, for my piece of chicken. But I just want to reiterate that fried chicken fell from the tree.